Hi, right, folks, fans, Rick Tyler here. Uh, video I'm going to be doing today, I often get asked that it's the first question people ask when they're buying a box what draw configurations are possible? And uh, you try and explain it, but it, it sort of gets lost a bit when you sort of just explain it over the phone. So I thought what I'd do is just cover it in detail. So there are three modules to choose from. You can have e and a box when it's supplied, D36 or D25, will be supplied as standard with a two drawer, but you can change that to a single or a double at no extra cost, that sort of thing. And then um, you can make any combination, so you can add a two drawer to a th single drawer or a three drawer to a double, to, and it all comes down to the sort of fishing you're doing, what configuration work for you. Before I go on to the drawers, and we'll go into them detail, I'll even show you how I lay my drawers out, just want to go into a bit of the construction. One of the questions that people often ask me is, can I fit anything under the seat? And I'll go, well, you can put a bit of things, but the reason why there's no depth here, as you are probably accustomed to on other systems, is because on other systems, there's normally a bar here, a support bar, that basically is the construct part of the construction of the um, um, module itself and then underneath there's a bar uh, whereas here as you can see the top of the drawer it's literally just millimeters this is very soft pliable aluminium and the reason why we can do that is because the seats and things that are fitting on top you can see all of the weight is transferred to the corners that's why you can sit a 30 stone angler on the seat and it doesn't depress this. Thing to be aware of though, if you store things on here and they're taller than two centimeters, as you press the seat down, it's going to press this plate down, which is gonna press into this, and then you'll obviously create a problem for yourself. So just need to be aware of that. In terms of height, every single module is seven centimeters tall. And the reason for that is some people, like me particularly, will have uh, different venues with fish, um, and it allows me to remove a module. So if I'm just feeder fishing, I'll probably have a two draw and a single draw. If I'm mainly pole fishing, I'll probably have uh, a three draw. And for me, I tend to work with a single draw with everything uh, type thing. And by swapping seven for seven, I'm not only to change the height frame on my seat box, which would be a real really pain in the backside if I had to do that every time. So what we'll do now is I'm gonna go through each module one at a time, so you can get a flavour of the sort of tackle you can get in there. So if we take the seven centimetre drawer, you can buy this with the tray set included, without the tray set included, and if you've already got the seven centimetre drawer, if you wanna buy the tray set on its own, you can do that as well. And I'll get my drawer that I use, so you can see, an idea of the advantages. So you can see here, things like spools, if I had them on a shallower drawer, this is a two centimetre drawer, this is a seven centimetre drawer. You can see here, I've got plenty of scope to store everything I need, nicely separated, you see the spools there can sit vertical, so can packets of hooks. If I'm for using a two centimetre drawer to store the gear, then I'm laying the spools down. Another important point I want to just cover is I'll use that drawer like that. It's my two centimetre drawer and I'll put my accessories in it. And the reason why I'm using a two centimetre drawer in this instance in knot three is because it's just deep enough, which means when I put that in a module, I can turn it upside down and it can't go anywhere. And that's important because you obviously see me sometimes tipping, recommending you tip the box onto its back to fit the wheels. I can appreciate other models and brands of seat box. They don't appreciate that to that extent and drawers are quite general. And if you haven't, if you've got any space above a drawer and you tip up, well, it's, it's you know, quite, uh, Simple facts, you're going to be sorting out the rest of your tackle before you can even start fishing. So, 
seven centimetre drawer. Uh, certainly my favourite. Uh, I love it. And so the next drawer module, so we get that out of the way, is probably what most people get as their base system. And that's the two drawer. Um, and it's in essence a three centimetre and a four centimetre. Uh, three centimetre comes with a divider in the middle and the four centimetre comes with four centimetre trays. And you can see there, they're easily deep enough for feeders and it's generally feeders that this tray was designed for, um, that sort of thing. You'll get uh, small cupping pots in there, bottles of Tipex. Um, uh, these are, trays are removable. They're foam lined. Very useful. Uh, regarding three centimetre drawers, if you're using pole rigs over three grams, you'll generally need to put those in a three centimetre drawer because the bolster bodies will be too big to go in a two centimetre drawer. And then the final one in the system is what we call the three centimetre. This is what we class as our rig module. Some people will even get a lid, put it on the top and have it as a stack system. Um, and they might have just one drawer that they take out and swap over for the type of fishing they're doing. So they can have that spare and then they can literally swap over a drawer of floats to the type of fishing they want on that particular day. And it keeps it all tidy, which means when you go, because if this is pay floats, these are roach floats, you know, this is more river fishing. So you're not having to take all of the rigs uh, or have them on the seat box the day you're fishing. But if you were fishing a festival and one day you're on a, on a canal, next day you're on a commercial, I've fished some sort of festivals like that, you know, that, that gives you options. So I'll take my drawer out again. So as well as down the line, as well as buying one or two modules, you've got the option to buy additional modules to store your tackle. Because if you're anything like me, if you don't do that, you end up taking the stuff out that you don't need for that day, you put it in a bag, then you put the bag somewhere, you forget you've bought the stuff, and then come two, three months later, you've got a similar venue to, to fish, you go back to the tackle shop to buy it just in case you can't find it. And then when you finish that type of fishing, you end up taking it out and putting it in the bag that you put in the first place. Right, so what I'll do now is I'll get that out of the way and I'll get the drawers that I use 90% of the time. I'm a, a, a great lover of the seven centimetre drawer, uh, mainly because obviously as a feeder angler, you can see I can have my spool set stood up, my um, um, packets of hooks that I haven't got in my, uh, where I've not uh, got lines tied in my hook boxes. Um, me baiting needles, my hook tire, dropping, you know, the bigger stuff, butt rest, and that uh, more tinier, feet, smaller feeders underneath that. Uh, and then on top of that, I will generally have a rig drawer with three drawers, and I'm going to have, in the three centimetre one, I'm going to have me bigger pole rigs. I've got to do some more because I trashed a few. I'm not a great pole angler, so I don't have a, a lot of big rigs with me on the time. I'll have, say, half a dozen uh, three gram uh, floats in there with some wagglers and stick floats. And then in my other drawer, I'm going to have me lighter rigs up to, say, two gram. Uh, and just on the pole winders, we've made the drawer so they fit 26 centimetres across, which is the standard size that Daiwa, Preston, Fox all tend to use. Uh, you can see as I turn it upside down, those pole float rigs stay in there perfectly. And you actually save a lot of weight if you take them out of the plastic trays and put them in, because the plastic trays that you buy winders in can be as way more than a single drawer. And then finally, uh, I'll have the rig accessories I want absolutely to hand to be the, like my swivels, 
um, disgorgers, scissors, that sort of thing. I'm going to have this in my top drawer. The reason why I'm only using two centimetres is I want to make sure that everything is only just covered. That way, when I turn the module upside down, there's no, uh, there's no room for anything to go anywhere. So hopefully you found that useful. Uh, look forward to your feedback. Till the next video, tight lines.